Welcome back or welcome to our channel. I'm Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education, lifestyle. The girl got all the way dressed this morning before the kids woke up and that is, that has been a feat <laughs> over the last two weeks. Anyway, I'm coming off of a really um, just grateful, like blessed, um, exciting weekend because my father surprised us and drove down to visit us and it was just a really sweet visit um i do not like spontaneous things so at first i had a moment <laughs> but i haven't seen him in so long since before the pandemic and my dad is disabled he had two knee replacements one of which had been giving him quite the issue and so um, normally when we've seen him in the past we go to see him and it was just nice for him to um, make the ride and come and visit and I was so just grateful that he was feeling well that he was feeling well that he had a good trip um, and that it went without a miss um, and that just really made me happy the kids were really happy to see him and we just got to do a lot of talking and spend a lot of time together and there's just kind of nothing like being able to give your dad a hug your mom or dad a hug so that was really nice um i also got to take pictures with him and the kids which was really nice because we hadn't had any in a very very long time so um that is what went on uh this weekend we are the falco family brian serena cameron kendall and savannah a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Like I said, I'm not a spontaneous <laughs> friend here. Um, so there's a lot of things that I kind of had scheduled. Things that could definitely have been put, set aside, which they were. But all the like cleaning up and prepping things and all the plans that I made for the weekend were just pretty much out of the window. <laughs> so um, getting out and cleaning out the garden and cleaning out the schoolroom, like I had mentioned, I think in the last um, uh, video before, um, were just kind of out of the window. They were not getting done. Um, so I am trying to pick off, pick up trying to pick up where I left off in that area. The kids have gotten right to work this morning. I've got my cup of coffee and I think I might just kind of listen to some music and start this puzzle because I feel like the last thing I want to do, this one, this super cute one I showed you before, I feel like the last thing I want to do is make the day a checklist. You know what I'm saying? This is all stuff that I am. Hey guys, not so loud. I know, but you're so loud. Anyway. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, I feel like the last thing I want to do is turn the day into a checklist. Even though I'm running the day by a checklist, I don't want the day to be a checklist. So, um, in order not to do that, I think I just need to do something this morning that'll just kind of calm me down. And, uh slow me down and give me some room to remember like how grateful I am uh for the day um y'all these balloons have been up here since Cameron's birthday so they clearly need to come down because it's been a whole like three months since my baby turned 13 so I need to take those down I need to clean out the um homeschool room get out in the garden and clear it out so it'll be nice and ready for transplanting our seedlings which i'm hoping to be able to do this um this uh this week i'd like to be able to get that done this week maybe i can stay back you know during practices and things like that i can get that kind of cleared out and cleaned up so that we can transplant those seedlings um a lot of my seedlings are getting a little leggy, which I heard is not the greatest thing. But in doing this in the past, they've always been that way and they've always still produced for me. So I'm trying not to get too um, into the particulars of things and just kind of go with the flow and do this whole gardening thing by heart, just like we do everything else in homeschool and life. So that is what I have going on. I think I'm going to drink my coffee 
I've started this puzzle, just give myself, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get started with the puzzle, listen to some calming music, and then I jump into my checklist to see what I can get accomplished for the day. So I'm kind of loving these, these <laughs> balloons in the background. I kind of don't want to let them go. I still have the ones um, from Kendall's birthday, which is January 2nd, in the um, homeschool room too. So I kind of need to take those down as well. Um, yeah. So that's what we have going on today, friends. Okay, friend, where do we start with this puzzle? <laughs> do we start at the corners? Is that what we do? Do we start with the taxis? Where do we start with the puzzles? Where would you guys start with? Where do you guys start with your puzzles? I'm feeling like I should try to spot that taxi or maybe start in the corners. I don't know. All right, so now that I have that laid out, I typically grab my camera several times during the day, um, depending on what I'm trying to document for the film and other things. Um, and I really want to make or document, I, I said this in another video that I really wanted to document like over document this growing season. Um, I'm trying to amp up my documentation for the garden. And so I just try to get a little bit of clips here and there every morning to track the progress um, from start to finish um, in the garden. So I'm gonna go and take my camera and get a few clips of the seedlings and then a little bit of what it's looking like outside. I did that before anything started kind of sprouting, any of the grasses started growing or anything like that. And um, now I get to see the progress little bit by little bit and I really like doing that. So we've got all of our seedlings right here and down here. And I think today, <laughs> We've got a Falco kid, friends. Um, I think today that we're going to move them outside um, today so they can get a little bit more sun. Cause like I said, I think I said this earlier, we've got some that, we've got some that are quite leggy, pretty long trying to reach that sunshine. So I'm gonna take them out and see if that helps. I only have a few things that really aren't sprouting. Um, but I'm trying to give them a little bit more time. I think like the jalapeno, none of those have sprouted yet. So um, I really think that that it has to do with germination time. And I do think they will pop up. But I love to see my Swiss char and the little like red stems. And everything looks really good. And it's going to look even better using my big camera. So. And of course I would like to be really extra, so I'm trying to get all the garden things, friends. Um, I saw a post that said it was beneficial to kind of like pet <laughs> the tops of your seedlings or your plants in general, and I kind of love doing that. I feel like it's another version of like earthing. <laughs> I feel like they already feel better. <laughs> okay, let me go grab the other ones. Well, this didn't last for long. <laughs> I have them out here, but it's just too windy and I think they would just be better off if I bring them back in and try for tomorrow. So, that's what we'll do. We'll just bring them back in, try and see if they can get some sun tomorrow because I don't think they're gonna make it out here in the wind like this. Oh well, I tried. Dinner is done, kids are at practice, and this is the way the day went. <laughs> I looked up some things for my garden, and I'm way too excited. Um, I would really, 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 really love to take down, to take down the old shed that we have in the backyard and replace it with the greenhouse. So 
I spent quite a bit of time doing my puzzle and looking at greenhouses. <laughs> okay. Do any of you guys have greenhouses? I found a few options that would fit in that space. Actually, your girl is over here full on dreaming because I really would like to kind of extend our backyard space. My ceilings have recovered from the harshness of the outdoors. <laughs> These ended up working out pretty well to help them stand back up because as I already told you, they are pretty leggy. I did get lots of good footage today. So, so that is good. All right, this is where we are friends. So I would like to take credit for all of this. However, I cannot. <laughs> because this is supposed to be something I was getting accomplished but you know that your little friends were never too far away so Savannah and Kendall and Cameron all helped me to make it this far in my puzzle and I'm super grateful it looks really cute <sighs> but there's that friends we don't know how much progress I made in kind of cleaning up and getting things back to the way that I want them after such a love filled weekend with my dad um but we made progress nonetheless i think i'm gonna write out a few things that i want to do for this channel we've got reading vlogs coming up i have um hauling our bookshelf videos coming up um i've got lots of garden stuff that we have been documenting so i think that's all for today friends Remember that life is so very full of lessons and, and our goal as always is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.